Hey, Winston, as the, uh, as the season went on and you guys kept winning and people kept asking you guys about being surprised, there were times you, you, know, you guys almost seemed insulted by it. Like, we, we knew we were going to be good, see? Um, when, though, when did you know? Was, uh, if you could talk about maybe like the open gym periods in the summer and you saw Josh and how good Xavier was, and when did you know you were going to be good? <clears throat> well, me personally, I knew we were going to be good uh, after we lost in the tournament last year. Um, we started back working out. Um, not too many guys took a break off. Um, myself, I went back home over the summer and worked out, but I stayed in touch with my teammates a couple times a day, a couple times a week. And uh, they were doing the exact same thing I was doing, working on my game. So when I got back, uh, it was pretty much the same. And uh, everybody had just gotten so much better that I knew we were going to be a great team. Xavier, you started your career out here in Eastern Washington, and you, you said you left Washington State for basketball reasons. And do, do you feel like you found those reasons at San Diego State? Uh, yeah, most definitely. You know, I'm a great coaching staff and a, a great group of guys, you know, here in San Diego. But, you know, I still got love for, you know, everybody at Washington State and in this area. So, What did you see in Coach Fisher and his program that made you decide that was the place to be? Uh, it was just a big family, you know, when I took my visit, you know, all the guys, you know, welcomed me, Kawhi, Chase, DJ, Billy, and Malcolm, all those guys just welcomed me with open arms. So as soon as I stepped on campus, I just knew it was uh, one big family, and that's what uh, you know, brought my t uh, to my attention. And then even, even this past year, you seem to have improved greatly as a basketball player. Could you talk about what your development was like and what, maybe what clicked? Uh, I've been doing the same thing. You know, it was just, I was just hurt, you know the uh, past two years, but I've just been working on my game each and every day and just going hard. And so I was just staying in the gym all the time. Xavier, was it a difficult, you know, phone call to have to make when you wanted to go, when you wanted to transfer to San Diego State, given that you'd sort of had a chance to go there? Uh, yeah, it was pretty difficult. You know, I had uh, a couple teams, you know, recruiting me when I uh, left Washington State, but, you know, Coach Hudson, you know, he recruited me in high school. And then once he found out I was leaving again, he you know, jumped right back on it. So I got to give a lot of credit to him and to Coach Fisher and the coaching staff for still wanting me after uh, leaving Washington State. As for Winston, can you describe what the locker room was like after the Florida Gulf Coast loss when you walked in the locker room and before they opened it up to the media, what, what were those five or ten minutes like? And how, how did that, like, just like I asked Xavier, how did that change the team, that, that atmosphere? It was sad, man. Um, the thing that hurt me the most was just seeing the seniors um, just crying and uh, you knowing that that would be their last game in college, man, and it really hurt them to go out like that. So I just kind of took it as a wake-up call. It's for X. Um, you know, you, you get a four seed, you're playing a 13, and, and you know the obvious thing is to think, well, we're playing a 13. How quickly did you realize that, that New Mexico State's a pretty good team, and, and, and what have you learned about them just from watching them on tape about how good they could be? Uh, well, I knew they had a good team early on in the year because they had um, beat New Mexico when they played at New Mexico. So I saw that they had beat them, and when we watched them on film, you know, they're a great team. They got a um, good big man and also good guard. So we just got to come out and be, um, get ready to play. For Xavier, um, what stood about? What did you learn most from working with from with Eric Sanders when he was at the San Diego State's camp over the summer? Uh, well, you know, Eric, we call him Ace. You know, he's a great guy. You know, he taught me a lot of things. You know, about um, Coach Fisher before I got here. You know, he just helped me work on my game each and every day. He would stay in rebound for all of us. You know, just looking out for us. You know, on and off the court. So we we miss Ace a lot.